my toaster oven. And this is my final review of Rogue Galaxy for the PlayStation 2. So let me just ask you something. What happens if you cross this with this and this? Well, you get this. Rogue Galaxy, the masterpiece by level 5. Now I'm going to try and show you as much of this game as I possibly can, just so that you understand why I feel the way I do about this awesome game. But the problem is that almost everything is a spoiler. Well, the best scenes anyways. So here we go. Now, I just hit start and we're already at a feature of the game that I just love. Every time you leave a game and try and like go back and continue, you know how if you stop playing a game for a while and you go back to play it, you're like, what the fuck was I doing last? Well this game, every time you uh, start up a continue or a new game, it tells you what you were just doing last and tells you what your next objective sort of is. So it kind of like shows you what you did last time. That way you don't have to start from the very beginning of the game in order to continue progress of where you left off. Now you play through the game as Jaster Rogue. Now Jaster's a citizen on the planet Rosa, a completely desert planet now run by an empire that seeks control of the entire galaxy. But Jaster's not like any other citizen on Rosa. He actually dreams of going out into space and stopping the empire's reign. I'm gonna find my way out of here. I swear it. Now as you progress through the game, you'll find that there are many different planets that you can explore, each of them containing their own missions, bosses, treasures, and monsters. But don't worry, the teleport save point system makes it easy to get from one side of the planet to the other. So basically you just head on over to this teleporter, tell it where you want to go, and you're instantly there. Uh, to unlock these teleporters, you just run throughout the planet and walk over the save points or teleporters, and then you can transport to any save point or teleporter that you've already stepped on. Now I'm going to show you the new and unique battle system. It's sort of random because you never really see the enemy coming, but it's like they're hiding on you and then they all kind of ambush you. But the, the fighting is live action, completely live action, except for when you want to go into these menus, which is completely optional, like, you never do it unless you want to switch out allies. The moves are kind of like in uh, Chrono Trigger, where you can actually combine up to three people's attacks, and then use them in this super combo attack with three people. Now there's eight different characters that you can choose to play as. Each of them has their own background story that the game actually goes in depth to explain, and they all have their own moves and weapons. Another great thing about this game is you can level up your weapons any way you like and come out with brand new super powerful weapons. The only thing is at the end of the game once you've got all your max powered weapons you have to go back and level up some crappier weapons so that they can be fused with your newer weapons to make even more powerful super weapons. Right now I'm trying to show you all the different uh, worlds and planets that are available in Rogue Galaxy. And you'll notice throughout the game that as your characters are like running around the worlds and exploring places, they'll actually have like minor conversations between each other. This just gives the game a more lifelike feel, as if you're actually wandering around the galaxy exploring places with these guys. So like I said before, all these characters have their in-depth story that you actually want to get to the bottom of. And by the end of the game, you will know like where all these characters come from, uh, why they are the way they are throughout the game, and you'll even let, get to know some of their families. The game's story is amazing. Once you get into it, you won't want to stop playing until you've beaten it. And there's so many side quests that you're able to do, you'll be spending 90 hours of this game and you still won't have everything completed. I think I have about 70 hours logged into this game, and I'm still going. There's still stuff to do, I'm still not bored of this game. 
Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, not only are you going to be using weapons like axes, spears, and swords in this game, but you're also going to be using high-tech weapons like blasters and electrified yo-yos. These weapons allow for long-range attacks, and with Jaster's blaster gun, you can actually use special attacks like a monography shot that allows strong. platforms to appear and you can <laughs> climb up them and attack, that say, the monster's warm. horn or something. So trying to keep this short, I think I've told you most of the stuff that I, I love about this course. game. For now I shit you not, this is my favorite game ever. Gentlemen. Oh yeah, and I almost I forgot the minigame. It's called Insectron. Basically, the they took Pokemon and combined it with predators. chess to make some Who fucked up little side game. By winning tournaments and stuff, you actually get items that are useful in the main game. I spent quite a few hours trying to capture and level up my Insectrons to the point where I'm almost undefeated. I'm just missing the Emperor Beetle. But that's because I haven't beat the Ghost Ship 2. I was in EB Games like uh, three or four days ago, uh, and it was still at the maximum price. So it was like $49.99. The game came out like a year or two ago, and it, that's how good it is. It's holding its own against brand new PS2 and some PS3 games. Like, Without this game, my collection would be nothing. I clearly I would give up every PS3 game I own, every PS2 game I own, almost. I mean, Dragon Quest VIII was amazing as well. But if I if I could just have Dragon Quest, if I had to lose all my games in order to have Dragon Quest VIII and Rogue Galaxy, I'd do it. I'd throw them all out. That's how fucking good this game is. And that concludes my final review. Rogue Galaxy.